What's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog here on the Jamie Staples channel. Brando, great work on the vlog yesterday, dude. Thank uh, you. I was watching. You could definitely see the Paris carbs coming through, dude. I saw those croissants on my jawline and I'm not happy. Boot camp has been reinforced in my mind, you guys. So I wanted to let you in a little bit on my plans for the next 11 days or so when it comes to fitness and health, what we're gonna be doing for fitness, what we're gonna be doing for food, the general plans. So today is November 26th and the meetup is on the 4th of December. Brando, can you roll that uh, meetup info for a second? We are doing a meetup here in England. So if you guys live around here and you'd like to come and play some poker, here's the details. Tuesday, the 4th of December in Birmingham, we're doing two things. First, we're meeting at Turtle Bay, which is a bar opposite of the Grosvenor Casino. Uh, we'll be there at 6.30 p.m. So some come have a pint, that's what people say, right? Come have a pint, hang out, uh, we'll chat. And then at eight o'clock, there's a 20 pound rebuy in the casino across the street. So Birmingham, December 4th, 6.30 p.m., drink, poker, good times. See you there, into the vlog. Done. Right, so we have eight full days before we leave to the meetup. So we're gonna do a bit of a boot camp. The plan is gonna be a gym every single day for those eight days in a row. And it's gonna be a mix between cardio and lifting. So the plan is two hours a day, every single day. Most days will be treadmill, bike, combo. And then three of the days is gonna be a lift plus an hour of cardio. I've got something new uh, that I've added just yesterday. It works so well, two birds with one stone. I have Rebecca's iPad here logged into Razor Edge. So I have actually figured out, hey, you can study poker at the same time that you do low intensity cardio. So I've got this thing loaded up and hopefully we're gonna get 16 hours of study in for the next eight days as well while at the gym. So that's pretty exciting. So Brando, one of the most important things when it comes to fitness and health, obviously, is about nutrition. That's where the real losses and the real gains come from. So here's the plan for the next eight days. So the plan for the next days is going to be ketosis. What is ketosis? It's something I have a bit of experience with in my life, and that is a very high protein and very high fat with almost no carbs. So basically what happens is your body shifts into a different mode. It's used to having carbohydrates and it uses that as energy. As a quick aside here, I'm not a nutritionist, so this explanation is the best of my ability, but you can do raw research out there if you wanna know more. So it gets used to having these carbohydrates for energy, and if you give it almost no carbohydrates, essentially it starts turning your fat into energy. So it takes from your fat stores. And this takes a couple days of your body shifting over into this process. There's a lot of positives and there's a lot of negatives to ketosis. So some of the positives of ketosis are, it's quite simple to achieve. You have very strict rules. So when making food choices, it's pretty simple. It's not kind of gray or fuzzy and you can't fudge it a little bit. So when all you can eat is pretty much meat and protein and vegetables, you can go to the supermarket and you can buy pretty much whatever meat you want, but there's no need to even walk down some of the aisles that have the things that aren't good because typically you want to stay under 30 carbohydrates in a total day. So that's a positive. Another positive is that your hunger actually disappears after a few days. You get used to eating like this and your body just doesn't crave food as much as it normally does when you're having a lot of carbohydrates. That makes things easier when it comes to hunger management. So there are some drawbacks when it comes to ketosis. Uh, it's not all easy street. One of the first things is money. When you're eating a lot of meat, um, it costs a lot of money, right? It, it's not as cheap as grabbing a quick piece of bread or a heat up meal that has some sugar in it. So it costs you a lot more to eat in ketosis. The second thing is meal prep. Meal prep is very difficult when it comes to ketosis because you need to cook a lot of meat. Or if you're a vegetarian or a vegan or something, you need protein sources that take a long time. And the last is the physical effects that ketosis has on you. Your body can be a little bit sluggish. Your brain can be a little bit sluggish because it's taking from your fat stores and burning them. And then also you go through this thing where like your breath is kind of bad for about a week or so, which is weird. All in all, I think if you look at the positives and the negatives, it's a very effective way at losing weight pretty quickly. And it's very manageable for not having to make tough choices and you know, just get on with life. I know what the effects are like and, and I'm aware of the, the positives and the negatives. I, I don't think it's a lifestyle that I would like to implement for my whole life. Uh, I view it very much as a short term, faster weight loss solution because that meal prep and that money thing does take a toll for a while but for a boot camp it's perfect we're gonna head to the grocery store now because we don't have anything planned for food for the rest of the day that's one of the things with ketosis you kind of need to have a plan for the food you're gonna eat so we're gonna go to the supermarket we're gonna take a look at some of the foods you can have and some of the foods you can't have
Ooh, maybe some meatballs again? Did you like the meatballs? Uh, I did. I was worried the macros weren't good on them though. No, they're fine. Carbohydrates, 3.5 grams for 100 grams. This is 300 grams. So basically in this whole package, there's 10 grams of carbs. So we get 30 a day. So basically, if you're on ketosis, you could eat 36 meatballs. Something we didn't talk about at home is also when your body digests meat, it takes more energy. So basically, it takes around 20% of the energy you're intaking typically to digest. When you're eating this diet, it takes about 40%. So like 40% of this is being used in energy to digest it. So that helps as well when it comes to total calorie count. Often the low fat stuff is gonna be higher in carbohydrates, right? Right. It just makes sense. If it's protein, fats, and carbs, if it cuts down on one of the things, the other two are gonna be bumped up. Typically, you kinda of wanna stay away from the low fat stuff because you're not afraid of fat in ketosis. Like, you, you, need, you need fat. 24 meatballs between the three of us is a good chunk of meatballs. This is uh, six carbs for the whole pack. <laughs> Traditional stringless runner beans, but it'll get the job done. Mm. Broccoli is the go-to, man, because you, you throw a little oil in and some spices and some broccoli. It's like fried vegetables, you know? Uh, so this is 4.4 grams for the full pack. So I think we do a combo of broccoli and stringless runner beans and some meatballs. Jamie, right. <laughs> Jamie put that <laughs> down. Put that <laughs> down. Just, just for the meme, dude. So for half a pizza, it's 57 carbs. So basically, in this one, pizza here this is four times the amount of carbs we can have in a day this is four days worth of carbs this is death we have the meatballs we have some broccoli and we have what are these things called Rebecca beans 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 one of the things that is really helpful if you're doing ketosis is have an amazing fiance that enjoys cooking so that she can cook you these meals that take a long time Rebecca thanks for dinner Chef car. We've got a little bit of salsa here because most condiments are not very good for ketosis. So salsa is pretty good. I think it's about four carbs or so. Gonna enjoy dinner. Feeling a little bit sluggish. So I think this food will do me good. So we're uh, 48 minutes in into uh, two hours. It's a tough day, man. It's really tough. I mean, uh, ketosis, we talked about it all day. I'm definitely feeling the effects of the uh, second day of being extremely on it. A little low energy, a little cranky, a little hungry, but uh, that's okay. And cardio is going well. Raise your edge. I'm doing um, the game theory course, which is new, uh, with the tournament masterclass included in that. Going through that course right now, and uh, two birds with one stone. That feels good, man. Improving at poker and shredding weight. So it's gonna be a wrap of the day. Love to hear anything you guys have to say about ketosis, your experiences with it, what you think about it, everything like that. Yeah, that's about it. Drop a subscribe on the channel if you wouldn't mind. That's free, helps me out a bunch. But until next time, see you later.